You've seen a quick demonstration of some of the hardware tools you'll use in network troubleshooting. Let's go through these tools again, this time to get enough details to help cover what you need for the A-plus exam. Cable testers are used to see if a cable works, and if it doesn't work, indicate what is wrong with the cable. Usually you'll see lights come on if you have a short in the cable or some other problem with the cable. A loopback plug is a plug that, when plugged into a jack, loops signals from output pins to input pins. This is a tool that you would use often to make sure a network card is working, or a network interface port, say on a switch. A punch-down tool is used to connect an Ethernet cable to a punch-down block, thus terminating the cable. For a tone generator and probe, we have two parts. The tone generator sends a signal from one end of a cable. The toner probe receives the signal at the other end of the cable. If you hear a tone, the cable's good. And if you don't, the cable's no good. Wire strippers are used to strip the jacket off of a cable and then the insulation off of the wires. Now, if you're going to do this, ideally, you want to strip about two inches off the jacket of the cable and about a half to three quarters of an inch off of the individual wires. This should give you plenty of space to retwist the wires and then use a crimper to attach an RJ45 connector to the end of that Ethernet cable once you've twisted the wires up and got everything set. One other tool you might use is a wireless locator. This is a device with a directional antenna that hooks up to a laptop. The purpose of it is to find legitimate access points and rogue access points. Now, by definition, a rogue access point is an access point placed in a network without the administrator's permission. In a wireless network in a work setting, an employee might bring in a wireless access point just to try to boost the signal a little bit, so it may not necessarily be malicious, but it's still considered rogue.